Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to factory reset your HP laptop to a factory or clean state running Windows 10. So hopefully this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the Start menu just by left-clicking on the Start button one time, and you would proceed to type in Reset. Best match should come back as Reset this PC right above System Settings. Just left-click on that one time to open up the Settings window here. Now directing our attention over to the right side, underneath Recovery, Reset this PC. If your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them, and then reinstall Windows. Left-click on the Get Started button. Now for Choose an Option, we have two options we're presented with. Keeping your files, which will remove apps and settings, but keeps your personal files, which I would still highly suggest you create a backup of on an external media source, like a USB flash drive or DVD, just in case, as well as remove everything, which will remove all of your personal files, apps, and settings, a true factory reset, which is what we're going to select for this tutorial. And we are going to have a couple more prompts we're going to have to get to before we actually get to the reset process. So it's going to ask if you want to clean the drives as well. Now, just removing your files, if you're going to be holding on to your computer, I would probably suggest that one as it will be quicker as well. And the second option would be to remove files and clean the drive. So if you're going to be donating or giving your computer to another party, I probably would suggest that one. However, for most people, like I said, the first option will, will suffice. And finally, we're going to have to confirm that resetting will remove all the personal files and user accounts on this PC. Apps and programs and any changes made to settings, this will take a while. I'm going to left click on reset to begin the process and I'll jump back in when I feel narration is needed.
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here, it should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Hello everyone, I'm back. So our HP laptop has been restored to factory settings at this time. Feel free to go ahead and install any applications that were removed during the factory reset process, and you should be good to go. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys restore your laptop, and as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.